This is our ABA 603 final supervision presentation. Um, the people presenting this project are Alyssa, Jill, Stephanie, and Sadie. Everyone, so Wilson is a direct support professional at Sunflower Fields, which is a residential agency. He's been there for 15 years. He's responsible for leading programs, collecting data, implementing BIPs, monitoring the safety of his clients, and ensuring they are active inside and outside of the agency. He is an asset to his organization as he cooks dinners nightly for his residents and is a reliable and social employee. He has been reported to have issues surrounding his data collection with his residents, which is a crucial aspect of his position. Performance focus. Wilson's performance deficit is inaccurate data collection for all of his clients. Um, there have been 17 instances and received two verbal warnings and also one written warning. The performance focus is to accurately collect data by recording the frequency of how many instances Wilson collects the client's behavior of interest when he provides services. Okay, target behavior. The target behavior chosen to pinpoint is collecting data accurately. Accurately, accurately collecting data can be operationally defined as Wilson collecting data that represents the true value of the attribute intended to be measured. And accurately collecting data affects clients negatively as it gives a false representation of their progress. Collecting data is an obs observable behavior as Wilson can be observed by others collecting frequency data when the targeted behavior is emitted with a clicker and transferring the data afterwards to a data sheet. Now, the goal objective is that Wilson um, to collect all necessary data for the client's target behavior accurately at 80% of the time until his performance is re-evaluated re in three weeks. The long-term goal would include that Wilson necessarily collects all the necessary data for his clients accurately at 90% of the time until his performance is reevaluated in two months. Now, the objective is to make sure that Wilson is collecting data reliably to provide the best quality treatment, planning, programming, and safety for all of his clients. So Wilson has received formal training on how to accurately collect data for his clients. It is crucial that formal training should continue until Wilson reaches the appropriate criterion within his job title. Wilson is monitored weekly by his supervisor. Wilson currently should be monitored at least two times per week until he's able to demonstrate that he can appropriately complete the task of accurately collecting data. It is vital to also realize that Wilson should be receiving positive feedback as well. Wilson has many positive attributes that are vital to his position, including strong attendance, having a strong rapport with his residents, and having a friendly demeanor. Wilson has not seen the effects of accurate task completion, and when he sees these effects, it might help with his improvement. In the intervention chart, we utilize the performance diagnostic checklist, human services, um, to, and we consider these areas as a priority in order to implement the intervention supported by the literature. So for example, in the training area, we focus on behavioral skill training, such as um, instruction, modeling, and rehearsing. Also feedback based on DSOSA 2023. In the task clarification and prompting, the team focused on clarifying a task or adding a checklist supported by the Warman and Newcomb 2019. Resources, materials, and processes, the team indicated that it was best to reorganize and reformat the task materials, and this was su supported by ABLE 2014. And lastly, regarding to performance consequence and efforts, we focus on collecting IOA data and supervisor providing feedback to Wilson. Um, we also provided a self-monitoring checklist to help um, sorry, supported by Brown and Brown 2021 and Brand et al. 2020. Um, so we did research on what, um, what evidence-based approaches would work best for the interventions. Um, as Stephanie pointed out, um, these were um, the articles that we used in reference to each intervention. 
Um, for D'Souza, we looked at a uh, BST approach for training. Um, and in their research, they found the effectiveness of um, BST in teaching specific skills um, to the learner's repertoire. Um, so we decided we would use this to um, train Wilson on how to accurately collect data. Um, Warman talked about the task clarification and prompting in um, their research. And um, then we looked at improving materials access through Evelyn, I'm gonna try to say that, Evelyn and Wilder. Um, and, um, and finally, feedback and self-monitoring was the Brown and Brown and Brand article. Um, and they discussed the effects of checklists and um, note-taking and effectiveness for enhancing um, employee performance. And so we said if Wilson was provided with a self-monitoring checklist, um, it would enhance um, his ability to collect the data and get feedback from his supervisor. Okay. Um, behavior skills training were used um, was used to teach Wilson to accurately collect data. Wilson was provided with both verbal and written instructors um, instructions from his appointed supervisor on how to complete this task correctly. Wilson was provided with all required task materials in addition to novelty prompts in his workspace, as well as a self-monitoring checklist to complete the conclusion of each session. Staff clarification, um, data collection was first modeled for Wilson by his appointed supervisor while an additional staff engaged in the targeted behavior of mouthing. Role play was conducted after this where Wilson got the opportunity to collect data himself on the behavior of mouthing. Following this, constructive and positive feedback were immediately given to Wilson. So motivation, um, incentives for performance were given. Um, incentives included money and additional time off. Prior to the beginning of the intervention plan with Wilson, he was required to establish an individualized personal goals. Um, Wilson's peers were also utilized um, in order to protect Wilson's privacy and avoid sharing his performing deficits. A group program was established where all colleagues and peers could also help provide feedback to other coworkers as well. This was achieved through shout outs, peer training, observation, and feedback in the moment. Feedback and monitoring. IOA was collected alongside Wilson for the entire 45 minute duration of his client session. The supervisor collected IOA on a printed sheet recording each time mouthing occurred. At the end of the day, Wilson and his supervisor met to review the IOA that was collected and to review what he erred on and what he did correctly. Uh, so maintenance. After Wilson's long-term goal has been achieved, he will be required to maintain the skills he learned in the created intervention. During the maintenance probes, Wilson will be instructed to implement the programs in the same conditions in the baseline phase with 10 trial blocks for each of those three programs lasting 10 minutes. Wilson will be provided with prompting and training to accurately collect data if the correct responding is dropped below the mastery criteria of 90%. Measurement. Um, so the frequency data collection was used to measure Wilson's performance. A data sheet was used for tracking the data during specified days and times. In addition to frequency data collection, um, IOA data was collected and Wilson's appointed supervisor ensured that Wilson was capturing every instance of the client's behavior. Results in graphs. The baseline was collected for three days, November 3rd, 6th, and 7th. Wilson scored at least 10% of correcting, sorry, correct responding to accurate data collection on the 3rd and 6th. Wilson had zero correct responding to accurate data collection in the baseline phase, and Wilson did not have help from staff or supervisors when recording the data. The x-axis represents the session days, while the y-axis represents the total percentage of correct response from increased accurate data collection. During the treatment phase, Wilson responded to prompts and corrected responses provided by the supervisor, and the data path under the baseline phase showed a downward direction that indicated Wilson did not have the skills or guidance to collect accurate data when observing his client. And the data path in the treatment phase indicated that Wilson was prompted by a supervisor and retained the training needed to collect the necessary data consistently. 
In the treatment phase on November 15th, the data pass showed a downward direction, and this can result in corrective feedback or supported from Wilson's supervisor if a decreasing trend continues. Uh, business results show that regular and consistent employee training and development fosters um, employee engagement and more efficient workplace. Um, job satisfaction can increase when employees receive feedback um, and morale improves um, productivity. Um, the clients will receive appropriate treatment and the team outcomes will improve. And then the future steps for Wilson are to independently uh, collect data with limited occurrence of errors. Um, he will have to generalize his skill in accurately collecting data across different clients in different environments while also maintaining his regular responsibilities. Um, this will optimistically lead Wilson to have job satisfaction and strive um, for improved performance. And, then and these are references. 